Alright guys, so I'm in the town. I just sold a bunch of stuff to Charcy, so I wanted to show you guys my private stash. Right now I have uh, some potions in there from that poison shrine in the Den of Evil. I stored those in there because I can't use them yet, but I would like to use them later. I'm also going to put this chipped skull in there, um, because it, it's something that I can insert into weapons and stuff like that, um, or I can upgrade it. If I find another chipped skull, I can combine them somehow later on in the game. I forgot how you do it. Well, I guess we'll find out. I'm going to put all my, my gems and my skulls in here to save them. Um, and I did also find this amulet of regeneration. So my replenished life uh, goes up plus two. So I do replenish my life a little bit faster. So that's everything. I'm going to go back in the town portal to the cold plains, and we're going to continue fighting. And my raven is gone, so we're going to summon up another raven as soon as I run into some enemies. Here's the javelin and the hand axe. Awesome. Um, it's dark, and I guess I... Let's see, damaged eagle orb. I found this camp, and there's a shaman over here. Get over here. Back up. Woo! Brought up a bird. I'm going to change this to fire. Where is that? Okay, cool. So we did kill everything in this little camp. And we're still looking for those burial grounds. Good job, Raven. He just killed that little guy. So yeah, back to Diablo 3. What what class are you guys um, interested in now? I know that I think they're going to release... What, whoa, what was that? Something just shot me. I think they're going to release one more class, I think. Or maybe they're going to go up to a total of seven, eventually. But I think just for the initial release, they're going to have five classes that you can get. And I honestly think I'm going to be the Barbarian. Um, if you watch those videos, he just looks so awesome. He's huge. He's got his big... Whoa! He's got his giant axe. Whoa, there's little electric things running around the air. Back up. Back up. Back up. Oh, snap! That skank is shooting me with electricity. Um, sorry. As I'm talking, I was running into a group of things, and I got to freak out and run away. Um, so yeah, the Barbarian just looks so awesome. Just so awesome. I was thinking about maybe using the Monk. Um, but the Monk, I'm thinking, is just going to be, you know, kind of... I don't want to rely on having to keep on, you know, bringing my health back up. Because it seems like with the Barbarian, you just have a massive amount of health. You just run around, and you're just a tank killing, you know, you can get surrounded by all these little guys, and you can just whoop up on them. It seems like with the monk, you do need to be a little bit more careful. Um, but I guess the monk would kind of be worth it, because his spells and everything, it's just awesome, you know, it's a new concept. There's never been a monk before. And, uh, I'm thinking with the monk also, with multiplayer gameplay, if I was going to do a lot of multiplayer stuff, I think I would play as the monk. I would make a monk character, because I love... Um, being a support, um, you know, that's, that's more my style if I'm playing with other people, is, is trying to keep them alive, you know, I'm the one kid that, that likes to do all the dirty work, <laughs> well, I guess not the dirty work, that's a safe work, um, or barbarian, you know, running around smashing things is, uh, is pretty awesome, um, and I did find this superior buckler, so I'm gonna see if my buckler is better, okay, so it is better, mine has, uh, this one has a defense of seven, and this one just had defense of six, so I'll just leave that there. Whatever this little Qatar is, check this out. We are going to do some micromanaging thingies. Move some things around. Bam! Bam, we just fit it in there. My inventory is full again. Um, so you know what? I'm going to run back to the waypoint, sell some more stuff. I don't want you guys to watch me do that. And, uh, and then I'll come back with you. Alright guys, let me show you what I just did with my inventory. Um, I got this new sash. Um, so it's a sash of thorns, and it adds three to my magic. And I also got this, uh, those javelins were these viper skewers. So I put that as my secondary weapon, uh, weapon set. Um, that way, in case I feel like throwing javelins at things, that'd be kind of awesome. And I didn't want to sell them. I mean, they're only worth 300 gold. I think it'd be more fun to use them. So let's go back to the Cold Plains. And, uh, we're gonna run this way. I mean, let's... I'm not having so much luck finding uh, that stinking sister's burial grounds. Well, I think what I'm going to do is just uh, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to get there, and, uh, and and I'll get back with you guys once I'm there because watching me run around here beating up on these women and these giant Chewbaccas can only be so much fun. So let me find the place and I'll get back with you and we'll do the quest of uh, the sister's burial grounds. The dead. How odd. 
All right, so I did find it, guys. I found the burial ground. And uh, while I got here, if you notice up here, there's a little picture of an armor dude. Um, and, and the helmet is red, which tells me that my helmet, the durability, is weak. And uh, let me just show you. Um, it's cracked and it's red, meaning I'm not getting the defense of three because the durability is zero of three, meaning it pretty much broke. Um, so that kind of sucks right before I'm about to get in this epic battle. Um, the quest log came up. Kill Blood Raven. I'm assuming there's going to be something huge. Um, so I think I'm, I'm ready for it. What, uh, let's take a look. I just want to make sure. Got my potions. I got some space for some magic items. I assume I'm going to find some. Um, and I did go up a level. Um, while I was trying to get here. Let's see. And I'm still, I have two more skill points. I'm going to save these up. I think I can take on Blood Raven with just my, uh, my fire skill and my vine. And let me make sure I have my Raven cast before I get there. I haven't seen her yet. I just barely got in here. So we're going to run around and we're going to find her. Um, here are some gates. There's zombies. There's these hungry dead are everywhere. I think she keeps raising them up. Um, Let's see, where is she? Oh, what just happened? What just happened? Um, let me pause. Uh, I'll come back with you. Okay, so that was interesting. Uh, I had to run all the way back. I had to re reload up. Uh, the game is just so old. The dead. Um, what happened was, I think my I have this screen changer, this desktop background changer that uh, that goes on on Windows 7, and I think whenever it changes, it just kind of messes up the game a little bit. It's kind of weird. It's just an older game, so the pixels just kind of freaked out. I don't know if you guys could see that, but the color went totally weird. So I did have to reload it up and run all the way back here, which is why I have that blue thing around my head. Uh, that just gives me more, more mana, which is kind of cool. So I'm, I'm in the burial grounds, and we're looking for Blood Raven. Where is that skank? And I'm, what I'm kind of doing right now is just seeing how wide the area is, because I want to know if I need to run and, and reload up my health. I want to know where I can go. And I'm assuming she's in the middle where all those little red things are on my map. Um, I don't want to go in there yet. I want to scout the full area, make sure that I don't get surrounded by a crap load of zombies. So I'm kind of clearing the area ahead of me first. Oh, and there's a dead guy by this rock. That's very sad. Um, and what we're going to do is wait for my stamina to raise up. So, oh, okay, so this is kind of cool. Um, if I want to, I can hit W. And it changes my my skin my my weapon set, so I can throw these. Get out of here. Actually, with my weapon, I need to do this to throw them. Okay, so we're gonna do that. And I think we're ready. We're gonna go inside and we're gonna find that hoe who's raising up the dead people. Very disrespectful, I believe. Oh, someone's shooting arrows at me. Hello. Oh my gosh, there she is. Ah! There's Blood Raven. She's running around here somewhere. Die! There's a lot of extra zombies. I want to kill them so I do not get surrounded. There is my poison creeper going to town, poisoning all these guys, which is awesome. We're gonna raise up another bird. Go get him! Oh, there she is. That skink. Oh, she's fast. Get out of here. Come here. And chase her down. Fire! I'm gonna beat her. Get her. Run away! We're gonna raise up some health. Good job, Raven. My Raven, not you, Blood Raven. You're a skank. Get out of here. She keeps raising up these guys, and wow, she is fast. Keeps on hitting me. There's scary people hanging in the tree. <laughs> epic. This is my epic battle with Blood Raven. Oh. I'm gonna switch to my javelin, and I'm gonna throw them at this skank. Oh. If I can hit her, I'm gonna poke you. Man, she is fast. All right, I'm I'm just wasting those gold javelins. She's almost dead. We have her health down. Let's raise up some mana. And it's it's right. Um, I guess the smart gameplay is to keep on moving. Oh, I'm not gonna follow her because she hits me. Good job, poisoner. Let my poison creeper do its thing. And my guy keeps on missing. That shows me I need to raise up my dexterity. He sucks. Hey, you can't leave your graveyard. That's illegal. Get back here. Oh my gosh! One more health. Oh! Good job, Poison Creeper. We killed her! And the evil is leaving her body! Fireworks! Yay!
That was cool. I didn't even kill her. My vine Your killed her. Time is past, Blood Raven. Ooh, and she did drop some potion, a shield, a ring, and a charm. Awesome. So that was it. We just killed Blood Raven. We are in the graveyard. Let's let's go take a look around. I think everything's dead. Man, there are some some rogues that she killed. It's kind of creepy. Let's look at our quest log. Return to Kashia for a reward. Awesome. We do have, okay, so I, those are my skills. I haven't gone up a level yet. So that was it, guys. Let's go back to town. I'm going to do a town portal. Let me see what Kashia has to say. Where you at? Where you at? Here we go. I can hardly believe that you've defeated Bloodraven. I did. Though she was once my closest friend, I pray that her tortured spirit remains banished forever. Oh, that's harsh. That's harsh. You have earned my respect, stranger. And the allegiance of the rogues. I have placed several of my best warriors at your disposal. Okay. Awesome. So, okay, so with Kasia, check this out. I have, uh, Blaze. Is this Blaze? Hello, Blaze. She's my, my lady friend. Oh, you are now my girlfriend. Okay, so she gave me a girlfriend. Um, drop potion on portrait to heal. Right click to open inventory. Now that is pretty cool. I think this is new with the expansion. Um, this is Blaze's inventory. Blaze is my little, I guess my hired, my hired girlfriend. <laughs> She's actually just a ranger. Or what, what do they call it? Is that what it's called? A ranger? Or a rogue? I think it's called rogue. With her, I can give her certain weapons, a helmet, and I guess some health. And it shows me her level and experience. That is pretty sweet. Cool. So that that is the quest, guys. Thank you so much for playing with me today. Um, we did quest completed. We did kill Blood Raven. Um, and I will see you guys next time.